An Indiana woman became the first person sentenced in the January riot at the U.S. Capitol on Wednesday after entering a guilty plea and telling the court she since educated herself with movies such as Schindler's List. Anna Morgan Lloyd pleaded guilty in federal court to one charge of parading, demonstrating or picketing in a Capitol building in exchange for three years of probation, $500 in restitution and 40 hours of community service, court records show. The court prohibited Morgan Lloyd from buying a firearm under the terms of her probation. U.S. District Judge Royce Lamberth delivered the 49-year-old Bloomfield woman her sentence on Wednesday afternoon in a teleconference hearing. I have really struggled with what would be an appropriate sentence, Lamberth said. The judge of 33 years said he feels troubled by the accounts of some members of Congress who compare the insurrection to a day of tourists walking through the Capitol. This wasn't a peaceful demonstration. It was not an accident that it turned violent, he said. I also think, some of these defendants in these cases are not gonna do what you did. Some of them are not gonna say they did anything wrong. Federal prosecutors in Morgan Lloyd's case supported the deal that avoided time in prison, record show, citing how the 49-year-old has no criminal history and showed remorse for her actions. Though the Bloomfield woman did not participate in violence during her estimated 10 minutes inside the Capitol, prosecutors said in court records, her storming of the building was a serious violation of the law. To be clear, what the defendant initially described as the most exciting day of her life was, in fact, a tragic day for our nation, a day of riotous violence, collective destruction, and criminal conduct by a frenzied and lawless mob, acting U.S. Attorney Channing Phillips wrote. In her plea, Morgan Lloyd wrote she's ashamed of her participation in the rally-turned-riot, adding that she's learned from her actions using movies and books recommended by her attorney, attaching plot summaries of Schindler's List and Just Mercy as evidence. I've learned that even though we live in a wonderful country things still need to improve, Morgan Lloyd wrote. People of all colors should feel as safe as I do to walk down the street. Her attorney, H. Heather Shanner, in court called Morgan Lloyd the least culpable among the thousands of rioters. She was very willing to learn about American history, Shanner said. When I offered her a book list and the movie list, she got a library card because she lives in a remote part of Indiana. Morgan Lloyd traveled to D.C. that day with her friend Dona Sue Bissi, 52, also from Bloomfield. The two women called the riot the best day of their lives in Facebook comments and photos, often tagging each other.